Hey everyone, it's Arlene. I wanted to give you a quick update on the items that I have for sale on my blog and my blog is www.butterflykissesWithLove.blogspot.com That's such a tongue twister. Um, but I just wanted to give you an update on what I have um, available on my website. So my vintage lollipop flowers are available again and they will come wrapped exactly like this. Um, it'll come on a backing um, that's cut out. There's a little decorative top I cut out with my Sizzix edge die, um, or I should say my Tim Holtz alterations um, on the edge die, and then it's stamped with some vintage stamps on there. So you can actually reuse those um, backings in, in your projects. But anyways, each pack will come with three lollipop flowers. I have vintage light and the dark vintage, and the colors will vary, and I will have those colors listed out on my blog. And um, Unfortunately, I don't. Um, I, I can if you have specific colors that you're looking for, and I have it. I don't mind um, uh, custom making the packs for you based on the colors that are in each of the categories. So just let me know um, when you place your order. And because these are custom order, I will not have a, a purchase link up on my blog because I am making these um, as orders come. So again, these are custom orders, and it does take time to create these. So, um, and again, vintage dark, vintage light, and the prices are also available on my website, so check it out. And then um, I received a few um, requests uh, for some combo packs, and so I decided um, why not make a little mini combo pack of the two flowers that I've been addicted to making. And you guys, making these flowers, I don't know, to me it's kind of therapeutic, um, especially since I've been um, resting up uh, following my surgery from last week. So. I have a whole bunch of my ribbon flowers that I've been making here and I'm having so much fun. I love this one. I put a little um, uh, cameo in there, cameo button, but uh, most of the flowers will come with glass beads and I don't use plastic. Um, all of the beads that I use on my flowers are um, glass pearl beads. So you will get glass pearl beads versus plastic. And um, so I have two different packs and these are the only colors that are available right now, sorry. Um, but I am going to make these two packs available in this pack, what I'm calling um, is, uh, gosh, I named it chocolate strawberries is what I'm calling it. <laughs> Cause I looked at it and I thought, oh, this kind of looks like chocolate. And then, you know, I was thinking strawberries and cream about the flower, but um, the ribbon flower is made of, um, satin wired ribbon and uh, actually it's kind of satin slash grow grain it's kind of hard to tell but and then it'll have the glass beads and the pack will also come with a custom stick pin um, so I have that sticking out there and then the lollipop flower is a little different from my normal lollipop flowers in where I put diamond dust around the edges and I used a prima rosette in the center so um, some of you, I don't know, are allergic to diamond dust or whatever. So if you don't want the diamond dust on the flowers, um, you can specify that when you place the order on my website. Bunch of feathers, and then um, you'll have either beading or sequence uh, trim on the flower. And then it'll always come with the, a backed lace. Um, also what's really cool is I'm uh, packaging these with a Baroque shape. Um, I used my Baroque die from the Tim Holtz Alterations line, and I backed it or not really backed it, but I lined it with the vintage paper. So you can easily use this. Let me just move this guy out of the way so you can see. So you can easily reuse it in your projects. Okay, so that one is the chocolate strawberries. This one is called Black Magic. Um, again, I put the diamond dust, but if you don't want the diamond dust, I can easily make it without it. Um, and it's just as beautiful. So, and then you'll get, so you'll get a black lollipop flower and a black uh, vintage ribbon flower. And this, this is made out of organza. Uh, with satin lined edges and then you'll also get a custom stick pin okay so check out my blog I have those posted already and then a few of the other things that I have available are the large um, envelope pockets in the vintage bags and they come with tags inside and here's what the tags look like and these are just as large as the Tim Holtz um, let me grab so here's the Tim Holtz um, number eight tag and here is the tag that you'll be getting that fits perfectly in the envelope. Okay, so if you wanted to um, put the Tim Holtz um, number eight tag in there, it fits perfectly. 
okay but you will be getting tags when you purchase the envelope and these come in packs of six and I don't adhere the edges down so you'll go ahead and do that yourself um, I like to leave it open for people to distress it because for me I like to distress the edges of my envelope here and so if it's already adhered down you can't so I left that open for you to do. So anyways, um, these are available by one pack or two packs and the prices and the purchase options available on my website for those. And, um, and also the dimensions. So you can check out the dimensions on my website. And then I also um, am making available the mini um, pocket envelopes and they're really small. They basically fit a business card. So if you have a business card picture um, an envelope that size that would fit that business card in it and it's exactly like this it just fits a business card okay so it's like a little mini envelope and I'm also selling the vintage paper bags on my website um, and these are larger than the normal six by nine bags these are eight by eleven so it gives you more room um, to work with and if you're making like um, a card or whatever the case may be and you're like matting like, you know, I think the standard size is four and a quarter, was it four and a quarter by five and a half? The matting's perfect at four and five and a quarter, right? Because you can just easily um, use that for your card. So anyways, um, and other projects, uh, probably could do two mini al two or three mini album pages also with one side of the bag. So you'll get that in a pack of 20. So anyways, that's what's available on my website. So check it out, www.butterflykissesWithLove.blogspot.com. Thanks everyone. Have a great weekend.